Jordan's fishing trip can turn disastrous if zebra mussels hitch a ride on your boat. These dime-sized invaders destroy freshwater fisheries wherever they wind up. Currently, several Kansas reservoirs are affected. Jason Geckler, Kansas Wildlife and Parks Aquatic Nuisance Specialist, keeps a close eye on Kansas fisheries. He works with anglers and boaters everywhere to spread the message about accidental transfer of zebra mussels between Kansas lakes. His advice is simple. Stopping the spread of zebra mussels is easy. We just need everybody to follow three simple steps to prevent the spread of these species. Clean, drain, and dry. Five minutes is all it takes to help prevent the spread of zebra mussels and other aquatic nuisance species. As soon as you pull your boat from the water, a quick check can help stop the spread of this devastating pest. Remember, it's illegal to possess and transport live zebra mussels whether you know it or not. First, pull the plugs and drain all standing water from your boat, including live wells, bait wells, and bilges. Mussel larvae are microscopic and free-floating and can be transported in water. Empty all bait buckets away from the water as well. Never throw bait fish back into the water. Visually inspect and clean all boat portions that contact the water. Mussels can hitch a ride on aquatic vegetation, mud, and anchors as well as the hull itself. Remove all debris stuck to your equipment discovered during the inspection. Finally, dry the boat for five days before launching in new waters. If this is not possible, stop by a car wash and carefully wash all exposed surfaces with high pressure hot water. Be sure to wash and flush the boat's tank systems as well. Then you can get right back into the water to enjoy Kansas recreation without fear of introducing a serious pest. Thanks for helping keep Kansas waters clean. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.